Greetings, viewers, and welcome back. It's been a little while since I've played on this game, and looking back through some of the footage while editing, there was two things that I noticed. One, a, there was an ammo box in front of the semi-truck in the camp there that may have been uh, missed out on being looted, and two, I'm a little bit concerned about the ladders coming up from the uh, center areas of the portion I'm standing on. Uh, just there's furniture and stuff next to them that appear that, you know, again, you think you've got everything figured out. The zombies are always smarter than us, right? Um, stuff like this. So, yeah, that may be two blocks high, but that's not. So they can theoretically just pile up and still get on there. So stuff like this needs to go. I remember... Uh, I was trying to get some missions done so I could save up enough cash to get a pickaxe. Um, I really want to get rid of this. Just then that way there is absolutely no possible way or excuse that they could even potentially reach that like they wouldn't under normal circumstances or even just see it as a uh, avenue of approach to get to us. So again, the other thing was the semi-truck. Let's go ahead and check this. Nothing yet. Is there a snake camp or is there a snake inside the truck? This was the back of the truck. Some trash here we didn't get. Something. He's in the camp here. Not a huge concern. But this is what I was referring to, and we did not search it. Aha! Winning. I'm not sure what Snake's doing. Guess he's attacking the tent. I don't know. Oops. There he is. What are you doing? Shut up. Why is that locked all of a sudden? What? Why did our door lock? What? Uh, is that bugged out or something? We just came through there. Okay. That'll get it open. Hey, look at that. Is this one locked too now? That was weird. Anyway, so yeah, let me go turn my uh, crafting stations off. What we need to do is we just need to uh, get back to the mission grind. We need a bicycle and then a mini bike because I'm really getting tired of hoofing it around. early enough in the day we should be able to at least get a couple missions banged out hey it doesn't boot us uh away when we get close anymore that's new the gates just locked which makes more sense that was a critical oversight on the time plant these trees how close can we get to the trader with them? Pretty close. Bravo. You're an asshole? Light baton. Have it. A sale is a sale. Sure enough. To a scumbag like you. I have no work at this time. What? the hell is that how do you not have any jobs well that's new and that kind of sucks i'm not sure how we're going to get money for a pickaxe without being able to complete jobs yourself, stranger i know some fellers who break legs for coin am i missing something here 
we're just gonna have to go out and loot on our own guessing so no use sitting around crying about it there's the glock 9 house should change the name of that poi Just uh, do some of our own looting and make our own cash, I guess. And since we're close to the base, we should be able to drop off quickly as well. Workbench schematic. Try to clear it out a little bit. Hey, look, our uh, orders for our blocker coming in here. Our land claim block and the times that they decide to come at us or to hear us when we're in stealth and not just still baffles me I want to harvest some of this stuff we definitely need more wood uh -oh. stamina for whoever this is of course it's mo All right. Um, I don't even know what this gives us. Is that it's concrete? We don't need that yet. I don't want to start loading up on it. We need cobblestone though, which I believe are the gray ones. I'm just gonna load up on these sham sandwiches. There was some golden rod outside the front entrance to the house. Probably should have grabbed it. Since I believe we can make teas. Our first level in uh, Master Chef. I think there's a crawler that's laying at the top of these stairs. Used to be. Wrong house. Who this? New POI, who this? Arrow to the knee. She used to be a zombie. And then she took an arrow to the knee. Hmm. We need to eat, but whatever. Would have just taken up inventory space anyway. Hey, cooking book. Oh yeah, brother. At some point we're gonna max out on those, aren't we? And then uh I guess those will just be up for sale. I don't know that I didn't look to see if they give you XP or not. This is only a tier 2 POI. It shouldn't be too terrible. Uh, I don't know if that's back here or here. That's definitely back here. Sounds like more than one. Oops. Why is the door not opening? The door would not open. I don't know if that's because they were hitting that centerpiece so it was recognizing it as a hole instead of an open door. Or a solid door where you have to look at it. It wasn't giving me surface area to click on. Uh, we got to level up. So take me a second here. Again, it's been a little bit since I played. I do want to max this out. That is going to be a goal. So at some point we are going to have to have perception 10. Which means we might as well take advantage of these other uh, skills. Go ahead and get Lucky Looter, since we uh, don't have missions right now. We're relying on uh, our own skills and abilities. Don't want that. Although, we will be able to make meds at some point if we get enough medical books. Is that cover coat? Those are good, right? We sell at least. Came out of this closet, maybe. Hey, Lucky Looter goggles. Hell yeah, brother. Problem is, then now we would have to swap between these. Loot bonus, I mean, plus three. Let's see here. Uh, game stage, that's not right. All right, so we go to our character. We're at loot stage 18. That's going to bump us to 21. 
not really going to uh, be that big of a deal, but we can put them on for the stash if I can remember by the time I get there. And here's the front entrance. Had to drop down. Uh, it's the kitchen. We've already looted the kitchen. Missing something here. I recall killing her. She would have despawned if we had. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. They're good at hiding these guys and girls. Come on, buddy. Arrow back. Anything else appears to be exciting in this room. That was the door we went through, so we want to go up. Let's go ahead and close that. And that. There's the closet. Nowhere to go but up. I was going to say, well, we're safe in here for now at least, but... This little twerp. Yeah, the door's doing the same thing again. That's kind of an issue. Like, obviously the hole, but even just close to it, you're still on the wood and you think you're going to be able to close it and you can't. That could be an issue. You think you're going to play open, stab, shut, and uh, it don't shut. You just get open and stab. Leave that open in case I need to back up. Where's the loot? Should be okay. Can't quite stab through that hole, apparently. Oh, there we go. Um, we're not going to get any kind of indication if the uh, POI is empty because it's not a mission. Uh, let's go ahead and put our loot goggles on for whatever good it's going to do. Three, four guns. Sure, why not? Another pipe weapon, which we can repair with the pipes that we have, so it'll sell for more. Let's see what we got. Spear book. Yes, please. Damage against deer. Sure, why not? Iron Spears. Hey, that's a thing. Shotgun crafting. All right. There's some shotgun parts to go with it. Look at that. Out of a shotgun messiah crate. Who knew? All right. That'll be handy. Probably make use of that steroid. Uh, I'm going to... I was just going to say I'm going to take the golden rod, but we're going to use this. And then we'll take the golden rod. Will this let us... No. Oh, we were going to have a quick escape to drop down... Again, we are close to the house. Uh, there's a key rack. Man, look at that project car right there. Anybody in here? Yep. So we're putting crawlers in the shed. Sheds. Any trash to dig through here? Oh, can't even pick, take the brass. I thought those were spear parts for half a second. Got a little excited. We need to put these back on. Take the shitty parts. I mean, cloth. If I did, that would take more space. Uh, let's just scrap one building cube. I don't think that's going to make or break us. Let's uh, dump some stuff at the house and then go sell and see what we get out of it. I think I'm just going to start saving all the parts for anything we might make. Oh, we're not going to save that. So any of the guns, so machine guns, shotguns, we're definitely saving steel spear parts. Um, we make bows. Again, these aren't restricted to a specific stat line anymore. But things that I know I'm not going to make, like knuckles or a club, those parts will sell. We're not making machetes, so that's going to sell. Right, using batons. We have zero pocket mods right now. Um, we've got cloth. 
have 11 sewing kits. Let's see. What do we need? I really like that feature. Duct tape. Alright. Oh. Well, we can only make one for right at the moment. Do we have any glue? How many of these? Oh. It's locked. How many of these can we make? We can make two more. Again, it's only going to free up one slot, but one slot's better than no slots. So let's go ahead and figure out what clothing we're going to put it on. There's one option there. Got some fancy pants here. And we got a shirt. Perfect. Look at that. Doing ourselves a little bit of good here, and uh, really don't know what's up with not being able to get any more missions. Maybe that's just a bug. It's a known issue. Maybe it's set for after you complete it, you have a couple days. I don't know. Break it, you buy it. So if I break your face, I gotta buy that. Not enough. Trying to buy some stuff from you, my guy. Deal's done. Now beat it, fucker. We have a quest, that's why. Alright, I'm an idiot. Wow. I didn't think I was that stupid, but apparently I am. Looks like the trailer park. And I don't remember what I clicked on the last time I grabbed a mission, so I know we just did the trailer park in the last in the last episode, so. I'm sorry for uh, any repeats you're having to watch. Sorry that you're watching me to begin with. You must be really bored and uh, have nothing else to do with your life. But I do appreciate it. Oh. Not the trailer park. It's the house next door. Good. Okay, well. What I said still stands about uh, me being lame and you watching me. So who's really lame now? Hey, 10% more damage with spears. Hell yeah, brother. Set that up. Oh yeah, we can do this too. Hey, how about double pocket mods? Huh? Ten percent more damage to safes. All right. Uh oh, thirsty. You know, we brought our duct tape with us. That's taking up an extra slot. I uh, for not to. We just need supplies. However, I mean, come on, we're gonna kill everybody. We're gonna loot everything. Who do we think we're dealing? Who do you think you're dealing with here? Come on. Is this the one where the? F oh, yeah, this is the one where the floor collapses. Yep. See ya. Pull down. Yeah. I guess this POI has a new has gotten a facelift. But the basic mechanics haven't changed. Ah. Uh -huh. I really don't care to go down there. Again, we just need the supplies, which I believe are in the basement. According to the uh, compass there, it's pointing down. We do need some more cloth. Hey, murky water is good. I need to keep an eye out for that uh, helmet mod that allows you to drink dirty water that will be a big benefit not having to boil every single thing we find so we could drink tea since we can craft that and coffee the red tea gives you uh, some bonus to your basically not i believe efficient digestion makes you not burn up your food and drink meter as much while doing activities Sham sandwiches. Take the coffee for now until we run out of space. We do still have a steroid running for a very limited amount of time. I don't know what they're smashing down there. I'm assuming it's a door. Um, 
technically not supposed to be up here yet, and we have to go down to get the supplies anyway, but we're just going to do it on our terms. We're not making military armor. Again, I am going to try and loot Goblin uh, as much stuff to sell as I can. Don't want to go in the attic yet. So we'll go backwards from the way they wanted us to come in. Uh -oh. I can bust this thing out. I know how to use it. They're already awake. Come on, clowns. Sounds like they're trapped behind something. Oh. Their own stupidity, that's what. Yeah, we'll just kill her with the spear and save some ammo. Do I have some pipes? I do. Let's go ahead and repair this before we forget about it. And it's busted. Same with this. Scrap these. This. I'd like to find some BDUs. Those are pretty good uh, general all-purpose clothing. Not particularly great for warm or cold, but kind of a jack of all trades. That's cobblestone, I believe. Let's check. Cobblestone and clay and XP, so I'll take it. Hey, there we go. I think the supplies were in uh, that exact spot the last time I did this POI in Alpha 20. Remember that now? Oh no, we are encumbered. That's a shame. Steroid ran out. We are moving slow as molasses now. We haven't even made it to the loot stash yet. Just gonna need some beef. I'm sure we'll find enough over time to make up for the fact that we're using it. Um, let's repair. 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 Get rid of that. Let's get rid of the sham sandwiches. I know we have plenty. Plastic parts are going to be pretty useful, I believe, for some of the things we'll need to craft. Remember, we can make iron spears now, so we should be getting our hands on some forged iron. Potatoes will probably be one of the only things that I will attempt to grow if given the chance, just because they are pretty... Useful and prevalent in several recipes. Sledgehammer crafting. Probably not going to use it. Not going to use sledgehammers this go around. This isn't strength series. Come on. Let's try not to die in the attic here and see what we can do with some loot. I can only imagine how painful this is for you guys to watch me. Like, why are you carrying this? Why don't you drop that? Get rid of this. Just, I just can't hear you. I'm sorry. You gotta speak louder and in the past. Basically, it would be in your future, so you need to know when I'm playing. But not streaming. I just keep missing out on this brass. Um... Since we are already carrying our duct, we're already carrying our duct tape, so that'll free up some space. We're already carrying some of this. Just scrap the spring. Uh, don't need any Brussels sprouts, thanks. Don't mind me. And your belly and your fingers gave you away, man. Come on, Mo. Got to work on that, my guy. I think the last time I was here, it was a zombie here that punched me. If I'm not mistaken, which I'm usually not. Who am I kidding? I'm always mistaken. This is a different one, isn't it? Different for some reason. Well, that one gave me stone, clay, and cobblestone. So you can make your own. You can play the make your own cobblestone game. 
we can probably do to get rid of that. Free up one spot. Similar to the loot stash we just had, but in a bigger room. And I hear somebody snoring. Oh, you're right next to the door, jerks. There you are. Ah, I almost shut myself in there. Is it just him? Okay. Yeah, that's that's a problem trying to click on the door with that the holes in it. That's not fun. Got us smacked in the face. Um, we're not going to be able to carry everything, but we will put our loot goggles on just to see what we can get out of these. We may end up just reading this because I'm not about to try and... Medicine? Just talking about that. First aid bandage. So Okay, so these may have some sort of use now. Uh, let's see. First aid bandage. We can do that. So aloe cream and the crappy bandage. Just go ahead and use it, I guess. Hey, that's a win. Thanks for punching me in the face, guy. Another blade mod. A wrench would be nice. Salvage tool crafting? I mean, you can make a wrench one day. Three of 75. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap the pipes and we'll grab that. Put those back on. Help our stabby skills. We've been ready to talk to the trader, so I'll meet you back there and we'll do that. All right, well, this is just painful trying to walk around and uh, have zero stamina while full. I'm going to buy that. That's going to cut into our uh, Put away funds. Oh, hey, skill magazine bundle. That's what we want. If that was more than one slot of armor pocket mod, I would take it. That's a nice chunk of coal, which would be nice. I'm definitely going for this. Keeping my fingers crossed. Hey, bicycle. If uh, this wasn't the tier reward against a bicycle, probably get the water filter so we can make two more stills and then uh, be done with that. But we need a bike. That's That's got to happen. 2.3 kilometers away. That ain't happening even with a bicycle. I'm not going to waste my sugar butts to sell this stuff. Uh, how much do we have? Okay, we definitely have enough for the pickaxe. I know it's level 3. It sucks. Don't want to spend that much money on that crappy quality of a tool, but we're doing it. Because I said so. All right, now that we're done doing business, Let's test our luck. Our uh, we were doing knife guy already. Rifle crafting, till we get to the sniper, that's kind of useless. Explosives, we've had some already. Not not what I was hoping for, but whatever. What, uh... I need to make the iron spear. So we don't need a workbench anymore for this? We can just make it with some forged iron? The only thing we have to be careful of is doing that. We're going to be able to put less mods on it, I think. I don't know what's going on with the uh, amount of mods on stuff, because we can only put two on a level five, so that's changed. I don't know if the higher tiers maybe offer, or higher tier quality, so like a steel spear would offer more mod slots than an iron spear, so on and so forth. Also, if we make this, we're going to then have to use repair kits to maintain it versus just stone, so we may want to wait till this gets beefed up a little more, maybe... Higher, uh, higher quality, it's going to require more resources, but I don't know. I don't ever have the right answer. Let's make sure there was nothing else before we get kicked out of here. Now that we actually have some coin. There's forged iron we're going to end up needing, but we're going to hold off on that for now. Cooking books were coming by pretty quickly. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That could be useful, but that's going to eat up all of our cash. I don't think it's that useful. It would help us towards the set bonus, and that's a decent benefit to have on your side. 
generator bank. Well, probably not ready for all that quite yet. Just get the fuck out of here. Let's use our bike for uh, extra storage, for sure, and getting around until we get our hands on a mini bike. Hey, lady, check out my new huffy. Take you for a ride later. Great. What? I don't understand why they do that sometimes. I think it's to lure you in and then you run up on them and they turn around and just smack you in the face. Why does it sound like somebody's punching my base? Sounds like somebody's breaking something in my base. hearing things check my water still hey two bottles is good I like to stay on top of clearing that thing out so I don't uh, it doesn't end up being full and then we're wasting time leaving it full that we could have emptied it and had fresh water All right, somebody's most definitely in here breaking something Not sure where and I'm not sure why. Maybe outside the fence? Oh, that's a wandering horde. Okay, he's inside the fence. He's trying to bash his way out. I don't really know what's going on here. There's a wandering horde approaching this way. Oh, they've already smashed their way into the fence. Somebody did anyway. And if they want to funnel in through one entrance, it's fine with me. Uh, I knew you were going to do that. See, I'm telling you, they lure you in. They're like, hey, come get this easy kill. And then, nope. Gets smacked in the face. Uh, I mean, XP. Hello. Come and get it. Fresh meat. Soften up the bikers a little bit. They're a little hardy. Don't have a whole lot of ammo. I'd rather save as much as possible for Horde Knight. Cootie boy, hardy girl, two bikers. If we don't get sandwiched here, we should be fine. They're hitting that barbed wire jumping in too, so that's kind of helping us. Come on, fight, a, fight each other to get in. There you go, get in the barbed wire. Oof, that's a hot mess and a half. Oof. His head popped off, but it's still trapped inside the hood. That's fucking horrible. Hey, 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 you don't get to fall forward, my guy. Yeah, that's, uh... What are... Okay, this is a family channel, my man. Inappropriate. Yeah, our drink, uh, selection is a little low. Could go ahead and start making some forged iron. We can make 39 pieces. We're going to need it. Might as well. Um, but before doing that, let's load this up with some iron. Some. Actually. Watch that. Have a. That needs to be sold. Where's the plants? I don't know if they fixed it or not, but put these in there. We'll see if that smelts. It does. And craft 40 forged iron just to have that on hand because we are going to eventually end up needing it. I'm not going to make that spear just yet. Um, we can now get rid of our stone axe since we have a pick, a fire axe, and a hammer. We're going to take this out first. Scrap it. put this in here as well so that way we've got iron damage and stone damage oops
need a blade. We need some sort of mod. We should probably should have saved... Ah. I should have put that blade mod in my uh, fire axe. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It just completely... Completely went over my head and missed that one. Uh, well... If we put... Oh, damn it. Forgot we had this stuff in here. I would have sold that. That could have given us a bit of cash. I'll put the, uh... That in here. Is this... This can actually go in a fire axe. Is that going to increase the damage on it? it does. 57.5 and 52.8. Even though it's not really going to help us, we're not digging dirt with the axe. It does more damage, so we'll leave that in there for now. Uh, that stuff needs to get sold. All right, so we need to constantly be thinking about this base and the direction it's going. And Obviously, these rails are not going to last. We want these this walled in. I want plenty of space up here. I'm going to want to reinforce the bottom here. At some point, we start having cops come running underneath us here. They're going to be able to spit through this fence or see us and spit at it and break the fence. And then when we fall down on them, that's not going to be a good day. Also need to have bird defenses up here. Ladder going up top of the hatch. So this is just going to continually be under development until we get it where we want it. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and knock out these front sections of catwalk with our new handy dandy pick. All right, well, that took a little bit, even making some coffee to help do that. I mentioned it previously. One of the other things I need to do to go ahead and preemptively set up my base, knowing that it is a possibility to put a blade trap over the door, I'm going to knock this block out and replace it with a railing. All right, so that's knocked out. Let's go ahead and grab our cobblestone. We've got a whole stack and some. What's this looking like? Uh, let's throw a little bit more iron on there. Let's just make one shape for right now. Oh, there's a diagonal railing block now. That's cool. All right, so we'll put that there. Probably need to put a second hatch here. Again, first word tomorrow. Probably not too concerned about it, but watch me for any amount of time. You know, I like to be over prepared. So probably what we'll end up doing is just taking the entire shape of the outside of the structure over time, covering up slash reinforcing this floor so we're protected from below, protected from above from birds. We'll have plenty of space. We'll just live and fight from up here. I know that seems to be the uh, popular consensus, um, consensus among people in the community that it doesn't seem like, you know, you have much to lose if your horde base fails because all your stuff is in there. But... Yeah, and this series is going to end if we die, so regardless, if our horde base fails and we're running around and we die, then it doesn't matter where we're living or fighting from. So, the only thing, again, being preemptive, setting up, I probably should have planned this a little bit better, but I want to put dart traps, so basically arrow slits here, and then dart traps behind it, so we're going to end up having to extend the wall out at least by one to get around that and make space for it so we can uh, reach and activate and load our dart traps that I want to be able to shoot here to stack too high. So that'll be one of our main defenses. We'll probably put a motion sensor or something above it so that when it sees them, it starts shooting them. We'll have the blade trap above the door. Probably eventually get some turrets up top. Maybe, hopefully, one day we'll never even uh, find enough books to craft it. I don't know. I want to finish knocking out these uh, catwalk sections. Actually, right now I want to knock out these sections here because I'm tired of having to jump over them to get to my uh, crafting stations every time I'm up here. So as with any new series or playthrough, things are always slow in the beginning and it sucks. We have no stamina. It's taking me forever to knock out these catwalk pieces. I can now walk through here without having to jump. It's just cutting into our time, however. Again, as time goes on, we get more skills, level up more, get more stamina, more uh, resources to use. So we'll, again, like more coffee, so we have more stamina. More points invested in a skill, so we don't use as much stamina. is going to be beneficial. I 
I'm probably going to end up only having one ladder access to get up here. Maybe from the inside. I don't I don't know how this is going to go. But I definitely want this uh, floor so it's not see-through. However, if I put a block here right now, it's going to kind of bump into our heads a little bit. So we may have to pay attention to the way we do this. That's also going to count as a whole block. So it may even push it down one. Just based on looking at that right there. So we may end up having to like bash out a piece and then put a block, bash out a piece, put a block, which again is going to make this take time. Sucks, but it's kind of part of the fun, right? You get to plan it out in your mind and think how it's going to go. And then we change our mind or things don't go to plan because things don't stick or the zombies find a way to thwart you. So it's always an adventure. So I'm going to try and finish knocking this catwalk out here. All right, well, unfortunately, this corner piece was in like seven parts. It had a rail and a rail and a rail and the two side beams. And I just need to knock out that last section. But unfortunately, it is four o'clock, which means it's the next day, which means I have to call this episode here. So tried to make it a nice little balance of doing quests and adventuring and looting and then getting some base work done and uh, itemization and crafting and food making at home. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this format, maybe compared to some of the other ones, if guys give me some feedback maybe i can uh apply this to other videos or change it from what i'm doing because you don't like it just let me know anyways i am calling the episode so if you made it this far thank you for watching i appreciate it please feel free to like comment subscribe whatever you feel the need to do as always i'm open to constructive criticism or feedback if there's anything i can do to make my videos better for you please feel free at any time to let me know so with that thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next episode